First, husband and wife murder suspects who escaped from a prisoner transport van got a lot of news coverage in their 16 days on the run. Today, Susan Barksdale's attorney tried to and failed to convince a judge that publicity justified moving the trial to another county. Kagan on your side's Craig Smith joins us now with more on how criminals from the eight from 85 years ago actually became part of the case, Craig. Well, Blaine and Susan Barksdale were arrested in upstate New York for the murder of Frank Bly in Tucson. They escaped and were fugitive for 16 days. That led to comparisons with Bonnie and Clyde, the bank robbing couple from the 1930s. Now Susan Barksdale's attorney says that comparison compromises her chance for a fair trial. It did get a lot of coverage when Blaine and Susan Barksdale escaped from a prisoner transfer van and lived as fugitives for 16 days. U.S. Marshals found and arrested them in an out-of-the-way part of the White Mountains called Punkin Center. Some coverage played on the fact they are a married couple and compared them to Bonnie and Clyde, a couple who became infamous bank robbers and killers in the 1930s. Susan Barksdale's attorney, Benjamin Mendola, says that comparison from media was bad enough. But he says law enforcement made Bonnie and Clyde comparisons too, the sort that could prejudice a jury. Here, I believe the facts will show, and, and I'll be arguing, that they had completely different roles in this. They're not, as Bonnie and Clyde are portrayed, as these two committed lovers who do everything together until, until the bloody end. They're two folks with very different situations. But prosecutor Chris Ward argued he's trying the Barksdales for the murder of Frank Bly, not for escape. Publicity has died down since the Barksdales were arrested, and the Bonnie and Clyde comparison is not really that damaging. It's really kind of a, a public consciousness metaphor for two people that have a romantic relationship but then go on the run. There's, there's nothing that's amounting to uh, character assassination in that. It's more of an interesting uh, story that you know, captures the public's attention. So, Craig, did Kagan ever use the Bonnie and Clyde reference? Well, we certainly did today because that was the heart of the discussion there in court. Now, you know, I was the main reporter on this case, and I never use that Bonnie right. and Clyde comparison up to now. It does not appear in any of the Barksdale stories. So you check the archives. It's, it's kind of a cliche, and it's really maybe a little too cute overall. Now, it is possible that we carried some news conferences on Facebook sure. where law enforcement people mm -hmm. made that Bonnie and Clyde reference. But no change right now. They're staying here. Yes. All right, Craig, thank you very much.